Hello fellow developers. Today we are diving into the dynamic world of Angular and exploring how to auto refresh a page. This feature can be a game changer in the situations where real time data display is crucial like stock market tickers, live news feeds or sports scores. By the end of this tutorial you will be equipped with multiple strategies to keep your Angular app fresh with the latest content. So let's get coding before we jump into the code let's outline the scenarios we will cover today basic interval based refresh event driven refresh web sockets for live data and using rxjs for more control each method has its use cases and we will discuss when to use which one first up the simplest approach using set interval this method is best for when you have data that changes regularly at predictable intervals. So I'm opening my VS code where I have basic project running here. Here I need to implement in it and on destroy. Okay, now I'm going to create a property private interval ID. I will also create a function refresh data. So Let's suppose this is your page and you will be refreshing your data with the help of this function. So this data will then ultimately refresh the appearance of your page or data on your page. So on engine init, I will use this dot interval ID is equal to window dot set interval. And here I will pass a callback function. And in this, I will be calling the refresh data function. And at the end, on ng on destroy, we will be clearing that interval by using if this start interval ID. If there is any interval ID, then clear that interval. So here we have implemented the on init and on destroy lifecycle hooks to manage our interval. So remember to clean up in ng on destroy to avoid memory leaks. So let's just quickly try it open the inspect element and you will see that after every 10 seconds it will be showing some data in the console like this so in the real world use case you can update the properties of your component and that would be updating data on the html that would be visible in the ui next let's tackle event driven refreshes this is useful when you want to refresh the data in response to user action or specific event. So first of all, I would I would create a service. So and in that service, I will just define a function refresh data. OK, and let's suppose this refresh data would return us a subscribe. Uh, that would return as the observable so whenever a change occurs uh, the service would notify us with the help of the observable and we would be subscribing to that observable on our component and we will be notified about the change and then we will update our view with the new data in this way our page would be refreshed so let me return a new observable So here I will add set time interval. So this is just an example, but in real world use case, you will be getting some data some from some other sources, like maybe from the back end or from somewhere else, or maybe from the click event. But here just to demonstrate, I'm just using a time interval so that it could emit the event after specific intervals. So let's say, after maybe every two seconds, I want to emit an event. And here I will calling the function observer.next. Okay. And here you can pass any data. Let's suppose I have let i is equal to zero. And then i plus plus. And then you can pass that i. So every time this interval is executed, it will increment the value of i and that would be passed to the observable. Now you can subscribe to this. So let's go back to our app component. And here I will get rid of everything else that we added earlier. 
now i will add a constructor and we will inject the service that we have and now i will create a function let's suppose you only use an action and here i will call to that function data service dot refresh data as that is returning us the observable so i'm going to subscribe to it and we'll pass it a callback function and we are consoling the data that is coming from there so you may have some variables page data by default maybe it is empty string or whatever or maybe zero and you can set this data to that property okay now if you open the html we can print that data page data all right uh, now i need to add a button as well so that we could trigger that action okay so whenever we will click on this button it will call this function and this function would then uh, subscribe to the observable that is coming from this function and then we will be getting the data after a specific interval based on the event that we have subscribed here so now let's try it click on it and after every two seconds you will see that the counter is being updated so in this way you are updating uh, you are updating your page in the real time so in this snippet we use a service to fetch new data we subscribe to an observable that service returns which is triggered by a user action like a button click so for live data web sockets are the way to go angular has great support for web sockets allowing you to get server sent data in the real time so let's suppose here i will create a property my web socket and the type would be web socket subject make sure to import it from rxjs and now instantiate the web so uh, web socket subject class and give it the url from where you want to listen to the events from this web socket so let's suppose your web socket server is running here so you just add that url and you will be able to subscribe it now so now in the constructor i will add this dot my websocket dot subscribe so in this callback i have consoled the log so right now i don't have the websocket server that would be giving a signal but let's suppose you have a server on this url and if you have it you will see that this function would be executed whenever a new data is arrived and you will be able to console it in the logs and you are also able to update or refresh your page with that data so this sets up a web socket connection that listens for messages from the server and logs them so you would replace the console log with your own logic to update the view Finally, let's use RxJS to give us more control over how and when data is refreshed. So RxJS powerful operators let us implement complex refresh logic easily. So let me get rid of all of this so that I could show you a final example. Now I will add a constructor and this time I will use the rxjs interval function. Make sure to import it like this one. And that interval will receive the duration that so with that it will uh, be it will be calling the functions after every one second. And then I will pipe it by using the pipe function. And here I will subscribe it okay and in the subscription we will be receiving the data i will replace my page data with the new data and in the pipe i will add my different operators so like i will use start with operator so make sure to import it from the rxjs and give it the initial value so let's pay, let's suppose i have 999 but 
with this it will set the initial value 0 and then it will get the next value from the another function so here i will use another function switch map that is also another operator from rxjs and give it a function this dot data service dot get data okay we have to define this function in the data service so let's go there and define that function so this will be returning the random string whenever this is called i have just quickly added the logic for the random function it does not matter it can be anything i just want to get a random data we just need the written type string okay so with this approach we are not just setting up an interval we are starting immediately upon load and then refreshing every 10 seconds the switch map ensures that if a data request takes too long it doesn't create a backlog of requests so let's test it really quick uh, let me just remove this button because we don't have that function anymore okay you can see after every one second the uh, page data value is being updated as uh, you can see here and it is updating or refreshing the page after every one second so right now this is using a very simple function in get data but it can be a very a complex function as well or it can be getting data from the server as well so it will work uh, very well in that case as well all right for solid strategies to auto refresh your angular page remember it's all about picking the right tool for the job think about the needs of your application and your users when choosing your approach for more detailed code and additional use cases check out the resources from the official website uh, check out the official resources from internet and I hope that this video was useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more interesting videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.